Hey, what up? I'm El Gusto. My name's Luke Dubs. We are Hermitude. And you are hanging out with us and youth at Yours and Ours Festival. Oh, great intro, boys. Huge. How you guys been today? Yeah, good, man. Just uh, been came in early to check out the festival. Yeah. So you guys have been in America recently. How's that tour been? It was great, man. It was cool. We, like, we did a bunch of festivals and a um, few club shows as well. And then we jumped on uh, Flume's tour for a little bit. Yeah. And then... Um, yeah, it was awesome. It's it's been really positive for us over there lately. So we, we had a ball. Yeah, some amazing festivals. Yeah. Like, just you know, there's like you could do there's like you could do a different festival, like three different fe- festivals every weekend for like two or three months over there. It's, there's just so many different festivals, and they're all really fun and good reception. So it's a good time. It's what you want. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of festivals, obviously here at yours and ours. What I wanted to talk to you guys about was last night you played at Andre Dean's Yours yep. and Ours. Is it pretty important for you guys to be playing shows where anyone of any age can come along and check you guys out? Most definitely. I mean, Absolutely. For, for us, we grew up in the Blue Mountains and when I was growing up, I went to a bunch of uh, all ages shows yeah. and, and it's kind of where I got to learn you know, or just see music and, and get inspired and yep. see how, you know, what was a good show and what was a bad show and, and yeah, it was just like a, you know, and just fun times, you know. It's, yeah. It's important, I think. Yeah, it's good for us as well because we don't actually play that many under-18 shows, not not by choice, it just hasn't it, happened for some reason. So yeah. every time we get a chance to play one, we're really excited because it's, it's great yeah. to connect with that crew like. and it, yeah it's definitely the kind of genre i guess it's that club kind of music where it's people aren't coming along to that and you know back on because you know we have a younger audience as well for guys starting out and looking at wanting to do producing do you have any tips and you know i mean um you know you you kind of knowledge is knowledge is power i guess so like just mm. get on youtube and like watch a bunch of tutorials and like really yeah. kind of sink yourself as deep as you can in learning yeah. like the way to make different sounds or, or synthesis or production or whatever angle it is you're coming from and yeah um it's it's going to help it's going to help you kind of be able to um create the sounds that you hear in your head express yourself exactly yeah it's just fodder the more fodder you've got the better you know so it's and it's really important i would say try and like develop your own sound yeah a, a unique thing about you and your music that set you apart from everything else is yeah it's a great thing and it's it's kind of yeah like i said it just sets you apart from what everyone else is doing and that's yeah really of course important, i think yeah and live shows are pretty important and you know for you guys when you do learn how to produce and when you're starting out what's that next level of being able to do the live shows and really be into it and not just be up there do you know what I mean? Like going through the motions yeah. kind of thing. It's it's got to be a show as well, especially with playing today. Like I, I mean, I, I got to yeah, entertain people. Totally. Like I think um, that comes with experience. Like it takes. It's exactly. something you can't really learn yep. straight away. Like playing gigs, you you just have to get in front of people and and be really shit scared yeah. and do it a few times. That's right. I mean, and then eventually you like develop a charisma and persona and confidence. Yeah. Yeah, some people are better than others to do it earlier. Yeah. You know, it took us a while to totally. yeah, of course, to develop our <coughs> just even talking to the crowd and being comfortable with that and hearing our own voices yeah. really loud through a PA. <laughs> you know, um, like musically we were more comfortable, but then like interacting with the audience and stuff, it took us a while to kind of get yeah. comfortable with that and for sure know what to say and when to say it. And, but that's all part of development. Yeah, of course. Yeah. And obviously, you guys are, are veterans. Did what for people who don't know Foam Two? How did you guys meet, and how did it all come together? We met just in an after-school band, actually, that we were just both playing in, and yep. kind of hanging out, realizing that we um, like similar music, and um, and that we're also producing ourselves on the side. Yeah. So um, we pretty much just got together and hung out one night in the studio, and it all started from there. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And yeah, and then we just. It felt good, so it just kind of kept going. <laughs> it was pretty organic, the whole thing. Like, yeah. I think it has to be. Yeah. It definitely s- helps Like, um, if you're not having to... The thing about collaborating, like working with a p- another person as well, yeah. is it can take a while to find 
that person that you really click with and someone that you see eye to eye with when you're writing stuff because yeah. a lot of the times you can collaborate and people are just you, you're trying to get to the same place but different ways or something and yeah. it's it, you just bump heads a lot so I think when me and Gus started working together we realised that it was a good mix it just clicked just yeah jumped. yeah we were like well yeah it was it was one of those things where we wrote our first tune that we wrote we listened to it like a day later or two days later and we are like yeah. oh this is actually kind of cool you know like it su- kind of surprised us you know yeah. we did something good yeah yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. alright uh, last question I got for you guys is is there anyone at yours and ours that you're pretty keen to check out man there's been heaps of good good music yeah, yeah. I was um, T- well TK just played that was incredible she just murdered it yeah it was she awesome. just, just lit the place up just slayed awesome. DMAs are playing now they're awesome yeah um, I saw the Coat Hangers earlier on, which is like an all-girl band from Atlanta. One, oh, really dope. Yeah. One thing I'd like to say about yours and ours is yeah. there's a great female artist presence yeah. on the lineup. Yeah, totally. It's, it's really important, and I think a lot of festivals miss that. You know, there's only usually one or two, and it's like, I think there's like over over 50% yeah. here, and it's like really awesome to see because, you know. Yeah. It definitely is. I was speaking to the stage manager before and we're having the same conversation about like having the girls to the front. But the best thing about it is it hasn't been something that's been on purpose. It's just yeah. all these female artists that are just killing it and they're great. And everyone wants to see them, so it's like... Yeah. And a, and a great festival like this is giving them really good opportunities yeah. to come and play. It's, totally. it's dope. Yeah, we saw. I watched uh, Vera Blue this afternoon. Yeah. She killed it as well. It's amazing. She's great. Yeah. So you guys are pretty keen to play tonight? Super keen, dude. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. This is like, um, I mean, we played the under eighteen show last night. Yeah. But this is our first like festival gig back yeah. home. So, yeah, we're excited, man. And we're pretty much we're not in our hometown, but we're close. We're like a few <laughs> kilometers away from. Closer it. than most. Forty five yeah. minutes away. Yeah. 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 Thanks, boys. It's cool. been a pleasure. No Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.